welcome to my YouTube channel. This is Natty, Natalia Hart, uh, the Hart Foundation Dynasty Royalty. Greatest, you know, female uh, wrestler of all time. Greatest wrestler of all time. <laughs> Greatest lady wrestler. The prettiest, the funniest, uh, the, the smartest, the, the, the richest. All of that. Just yes. Like the greatest. You yes. Know. So she is going to be showing me how to do. Well, actually, you're going to be doing my makeup. But also, we have your sister here. Come on in. And she, this one is the bustiest. Oh, yes, she is. So oh my gosh. Oh, so pretty. So now that we've gotten that out of the way, yeah. it is time for me to basically make Lana look like she is the best. Lana's number one. Lana is the best. Lana, Lana number, number one. one. Lana. We are about to make Lana look like the most beautiful woman in the world. Not that she isn't already, but you know, we can never have too much Tom Ford. <laughs> so I'm about to explode with some of my makeup on her. Um, that is the best. Like I everything am. I've learned about and, makeup has been a and lot I'm, for me. Because I can't, I, I've learned in my life that when you need to get it done, you have to count on yourself. If I'm in a barnyard, if I'm at Madison Square Garden, if I'm in Saudi Arabia, no matter where I am, I know if I've got my hands, my Scott Barnes makeup brushes, and my imagination. Oh my god, I'm so excited. And my Scott Barnes palettes, I can make. Oh my god, look at all gorgeous. these palettes that you have. This is a palette, ah. this is one of my favorites. Oh, this is like, by the way, this has been manhandled, but it is my favorite eyeshadow palette ever. It's the Scott Barnes Snatural Eyeshadow Palette. Okay, so enough about me. We're gonna start Lana off with some prep. You can't paint a house without prepping it first. So I'm gonna start her off with a little bit of moisturizer and a little bit of primer. I'm going to use a fluffy little brush like this. It's like a stippling brush, but just like a fluffy, thick little stippling brush. And I'm gonna start her off mixing a little bit of primer. Before I put my makeup on, I use a primer. I love this Smashbox primer, it's awesome. It's just the Photo Finish Original Smashbox primer. You can get it at Ulta or Sephora. Um, it's just great. So start off with a primer and I will put a little, I, okay, I was about to put that on my hand, but I'm actually gonna be really good and put it on the brush. So put a little on the brush. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna take the brush and I'm just gonna go throughout her whole face with, yep, just go and like basically just seal her whole face. Well, I, I like the Smashbox a lot. It's a really good price point. It's not that expensive and it's just like, it's just nice to kind of like, you wanna put the primer on before you put the foundation on because it just kind of helps everything set better. A nice, and you know, something you can use besides primer, you can also use a little moisturizer. You don't have to use primer, but like a little moisturizer works as well. Mm. So now that we've got, now everybody is different. Every makeup artist is different. Some makeup artists like to do the eyes first. Some like to do the foundation first. I go by the Scott Barnes method. I don't build a house by putting in the windows first. Mm -hmm. Like Scott says, I build the house, I build the frame, and then I put the windows in after. Mm -hmm. So the frame is the base and I'm gonna do the foundation first. Favorite, favorite foundation ever. Don't worry, you can't buy it anymore. It's continued. <laughs> but this is amazing. This is the Tom Ford waterproof foundation. If you can't get Tom Ford waterproof, you can get the Urban Decay All Nighter Foundation. It's comparable. So it's really, really awesome. It's waterproof, long wear, liquid foundation by uh, Urban Decay. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to use the same brush that I applied the primer with. You can use that same kind of fluffy stippling brush. So I'm going to put the foundation on all over your face. Wow, that's perfect for you. And I also believe in putting a little bit on the neck just so that her face isn't two different colors. I started getting into makeup for my sister, Jenny. Oh. Um, she actually was like the first person that taught me how to do makeup. And she Ooh. was like a makeup guru when we were growing up. So when I was a kid, you know, when I was in my early teens, Jenny would always buy all these different magazines. We had, she had like 12 subscriptions to magazines. Oh my God. And we would like get Vogue, we would have Marie Claire, we'd have, we'd have all these magazines, we'd try all these different looks and like, Jenny was like the first person that taught me how to do makeup. Mm -hmm. So we've, we've both loved makeup for a long time. The biggest thing with makeup is that because I wrestle on WWE, because I'm on TV so many different times, 
you know, with Total Divas, with WWE, with whether it's a pay-per-view, whether it's WrestleMania, whether we're at a live event somewhere in the middle of nowhere, you, we need makeup. But I also love to wear makeup even if it's just going to Publix. <laughs> and I love, I think women love makeup because, which Jenny would, would agree with, it makes you feel pretty. Yes. It does. This is one of my favorite products I've ever used. And one of my very close friends, one of my best friends, Mickey, who's a makeup artist, you know Mickey, Mickey. Mickey the Mickey Fitzpatrick, the Mickey Fitzpatrick on Instagram. He got me into this uh, concealer, and Scott Barnes also uses this concealer on J Lo. Um, it's the All Nighter Waterproof Full Coverage Concealer. It is Jenny knows. It doesn't move. You could do a back handspring. You could go for a run. You could do hot yoga. Or you could be breastfeeding, and it or doesn't move. Or you could go to the Bahamas and go scuba diving. Jenny, you love this concealer. I do. So what is it called? it's called, this is the Urban Decay All Nighter Concealer. So what I do is I actually am going to be doing your low light. But the thing with this concealer is, is that you have to really, you have to move it pretty fast. Like you have to blend it pretty fast because this concealer, it doesn't, once it's on, it's like on. Your makeup will stay on for days. Really? Yes, if you want to shower for days, it'll last stay on. for days. If you want to have a wrestling match and go to eat after, it's still on. So what I'm doing is I'm actually like creating a little bit of a highlight. Come Say on. hi! Come on, oh, Come on, Come on, Come on. Jump in. To all the... Roast. <laughs> <laughs> we don't know what that means, but... So, see how I'm doing it down here? I'm doing... I'm, I'm basically highlighting and contouring right now. Now I'm gonna take a little bit of a darker concealer. The, the Basically, this is another, this is the All Nighter Liquid Concealer, but it's dark. So I'm actually going to highlight and contour with Lana's face with this concealer. This color is called Dark Golden. Mm. So it's darker now, like what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go to play all those places that I wanna like highlight. So see what I'm doing? I'm highlighting. Can you tell them how you're doing this? So, so I'm actually just it. taking the wand and I'm just going up here. Like, and I'm shading, I'm shading up here around her face, oh. up here, up here. And then right here in the center is the light color. That's where the light concealer, that's where the light color is. Cause we're shading, we're contouring. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to just build your nose a little bit. You have a beautiful nose, so I don't want to fuck with it too much. There. So. Whoa, how did you contour that nose? So what I did is I line, went, what I'll do is like, I, I go like this, line down, line down, like this, like that, and then I take the lighter concealer, which is this, and I go, and all you do is really buff it out. Mm. So you literally just buff with that stippling brush. The best brushes I can possibly recommend that you use are Scott Barnes brushes. The reason why I have to blend it pretty fast is because, um, and I'll use a different brush to blend it. The reason why I have to blend it pretty fast is because this concealer, this all-nighter concealer, it, once it's on, it doesn't move. So now you're mixing in, so you put a little bit of foundation all over. Yep. And then you went and then you took these. And we're buffing. So we're using that same stippling brush and we're going back in and we're kind of just blending. We're blending where we put the highlighter and the contour. I mixed in, I just use this as my little palette, but like I mixed back in a teeny tiny bit of foundation because we have to move back around the makeup because that, the highlighter and the contour, basically the light and the dark, you have to move them around so that wow. they, don't, they don't get stuck. The original brush that you put the foundation on with it's good to blend in the concealer. It's good to blend in the contour and the highlighter because it has, it still has some of the foundation on from before. So it all blends together. It's, it's actually really nice. And then I use the wand. When I'm, putting the, when I'm putting the concealer on, I just use the wand. And then I use the same brush that I use your foundation with. I go, and stippling is just, these stippling brushes are gonna give you the most coverage. That's I why they're so good. I need to get those brushes. I'm like so, you know all the brushes that I own are the brushes that you helped me buy or bought, either bought for me or gave to me or helped me buy back in 2015. You need to get new brushes. Scott Isn't Barnes. crazy? I love Scott's brushes. They're so good. He uses them, like I met 
I met Scott Barnes last year and he did a makeup tutorial with me and we met through a mutual friend, Mickey. <laughs> and Scott taught me so much about like what brushes are good. And I asked him when he was doing my makeup about all these things, like why would you use this brush? Why is this good? Why would you do it? Cause some makeup artists like to do the eyes first. Yeah. And I, it's just, all of it is poetic license because really makeup is just art. Everybody has a different way they do it. As long as you coming out, as long as you come out looking amazing, you can't go wrong. Yes. And the biggest part with blending the highlight, the contour, and the foundation is just blend. Blend the shit out of it. Mm -hmm. And guess what? If it's not blended enough, go back in and blend it some more. It's like a pencil eraser. You can do anything with it. So with Natty, a lot of my first happened. A lot of my my first match happened with Natty. It was actually at WrestleMania in front of 101,000 people. That's right. Yes. And <laughs> my first match, I was literally freaking out and about to have, actually I did have several panic attacks and she made her me come to her room, hotel room in Dallas, Texas to practice in my gear and on take those lines on her bed. I know, it was quite a night. I closed lined her on my bed. And we actually almost got kicked out of the hotel. Yeah, oh my God, that was great. So now that we've got your face done, this looks beautiful. And you know, I know a lot of makeup artists don't like to use their hands, but as long as your hands are clean, yeah. sometimes the natural oils in your hands can actually be really great blending tools. Yeah. So one thing I'm gonna do with Lana right now is I'm actually gonna bake a little bit underneath. This is a natty thing. This isn't something I learned from anyone else, but I, I've, well, I've learned it from a few different people, but I'm gonna bake with you a little bit. And that's one thing too I would always recommend people doing. If your makeup artist isn't doing something right or you want to fix something, just tell them. Say, hey, I want that a little bit more like this. You need to communicate with people and let them know so that they can fix it. Yeah, for sure. Even if it hurts their feelings, I'd rather, I would rather somebody tell me something and fix it so we can keep working together rather than not tell them and go, oh, I never want to work with her again. She didn't do, you know, do my eyebrows right. Yeah. So now what I'm going to do is take one of my other favorite products. This is the MAC Studio Fix perfecting powder. It's just a MAC Studio Fix loose powder. I'm gonna bake. I'm gonna bake underneath Lana's eyes. I use this amazing Scott Barnes brush. It's, just, it's from his brush kit collection, but it's number 64. It's just like a nice, like kind of like a oval shaped brush, but it's amazing for baking. So I'm gonna put a little powder on the brush, powder on the brush, and I'm gonna bake under her eyes and I'm not gonna move this powder. So I'm putting a little powder underneath her eyes that way Basically, the powder when you bake, it's not a long process, but it basically helps kind of lock everything in because when we're on TV wrestling, mm. you want your makeup to really stay on and you want you need it to stay on through tears, which we cry a lot at work. Mm -hmm. um, it's a long story. <laughs> yeah, and I bake like what I, I bake here. This is where I put all the like light color right there. Bake a little here because we're trying to chisel our cheekbones. So bake there a little bit. I bake here a little bit. You're baking right where you put all the light colors. Light, 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 light. Mm. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna leave that and let it bake and now I'm gonna work on our eyes. For TV, I don't like to do too, too much to my eyes because I know for TV that I'm gonna cry, I'm gonna punch somebody and I'm gonna be sweating like a wet dog. Oh. So I don't put too, too much eyeshadow on, but I will say, as I was talking earlier, and I'm not doing, this isn't like, Scott doesn't pay me to like talk about his products, I just really like them. This is his Natural Palette uh, eyeshadow kit. It's like my go-to staple item because it has just like my favorite color. There's three colors in there that I can't live without. I'm gonna use Muted. Muted, I'm gonna use this color, Muted, over Lana's whole lid. Mm. So I'm gonna give her a base coat over her whole lid. And you can just use, a, this is another Scott Barnes brush, but like. So is there like a bunch of brushes that you get like all yeah. these brushes? Yeah, you can just buy a kit. Oh so God. I'm gonna use his number 63. It's like the fan brush. I'm just gonna use that to go over your whole lid. I don't even know if this brush is, that's what it does, but I just use that for this. So I'm just gonna go over your whole lid with the muted. This is my go-to brush that I don't leave home without. It's Scott Barnes number 62. It's for eyeshadow. And basically what I do with this brush, the color that I'm obsessed with in this palette that I can't live without, that I would literally buy this whole palette for is the color Brick House. Scott said that that's like one of his favorite colors he likes to use on JLo. I'm name dropping, but whatever. That's Brick House and it's amazing and it's gonna make you look pretty. And that's all that matters at this point. You can throw a drop peek in there, we'll love you for that. But just be pretty. Close your eyes. 
And so we're gonna go kind of in a, a rainbow motion. We're gonna go in a rainbow-like motion over her lid. So like this. Yeah, like this. So you can see. You see what I'm doing? On my own lid, rainbow. <laughs> it's okay. So we're just going in like a rainbow-like motion. I love how thick her eyebrows are. They're crazy right now because but they, they haven't been done in four months. You know what though? It's good to have thick eyebrows because it's a sign of youth. I'm gonna go in with this Hollywood color. This goldy kind of Hollywood color. And I'm gonna go in and just dab with my fingertip on her top of her lid. So that looks so pretty. Oh my God, I love that. Ooh. It's like a really, really pretty, like, I love that gold. First the first color I used was muted. All over. It's like a vanilla, kind of like a vanilla base. And you used it all over. Yeah. And then I went back in with Brick House. Brick House was here. And I went like this, like that, in like a rainbow-like motion. Okay. And then I dabbed on Hollywood. I dabbed on Hollywood like this. Okay. On your lid. Oh. Now I'm gonna go underneath your eye a little bit too. Okay. That Brick House just brings out, anybody can use the Brick House. You can be, any color, any race, any religion, any weight, any height, anything. It could be cat or dog. You can use that Alien. color. <laughs> Alien. <laughs> you can use Brick House. Um, they're like hazel. They're very pretty. Thank you. They almost have a, like, they're copper looking. Thank you. They definitely change depending on what eyeshadow and outfit. Now I'm gonna go back in with my second favorite brush. This is a Scott Barnes number 67. Big. Big boy. This brush is a big boy brush. It is definitely taking the bull by the horns. And I'm going to basically dust off all of her baking. I'm just hoping that this looks good at the end. I'm like literally falling asleep. It feels so delightful. And I actually have a brand new tube of mascara that I've never used. Always use your own mascara. But since I've never used this mascara, it's one of my favorites though. It's the NARS Climax, and it's really good because the, it's not too crazy, but it's, it's gonna help you get a fluffier lash. Mm. So, you know what? I'm gonna let you put your own mascara on. Mm -hmm. Just the mascara on first. So you always put the mascara on before you put always. the Always. Ellie, remember when we took a whole bunch of um, Jager bomb shots? Oh my goodness, yes. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. There's been some fun yes. times. You got that. Now what I love to do is, okay, so what I've done is I have, I actually really love these little Ardell Wispies. They're not expensive. I only use my eyelashes once because when I wrestle in the ring, if I sweat, I don't reuse the lashes again. You don't want the germs and all that. I don't care if they're mink. You can't reuse them again when you're in the ring. So I love these Ardell Wispies. They're really cheap. I get them at Publix for like 10 bucks a pack, sometimes less, depending on who puts the price on thing. Um, and what I do when I put on lash glue is I put a very even amount of lash glue on and I blow on them. And, and I never, I mean, I would actually prefer Lana blows on it because they're going on her eye, but if you want to just blow on it, we make it tacky. So blow on it because I don't want to blow on her own lash, you know, the lashes that are going on her eyes. So just blow, we're going to count to 10. This is if you're having a child or putting on lashes. <laughs> Good. So I've never had a child nor do I plan on it. You do have six cats though. Five, five. Okay. Why do I always say you have six cats? She's a so lady. Those look beautiful. Those are the I'm upset. No, oh my god. Are these just the wispies? Oh. Just the wispies. And then you order the needles in the store. You order. I that? just get those at like Sally Beauty or Publix. And then I'm gonna put on some. I'm gonna put on a little. What I love doing is I actually love doing inner rim. So inner rim is just the water line. Water line, Jenny. Thank you. I actually was wondering what the heck that was. So water line. <laughs> so it actually looks, so I don't have one on this eye. Look at this eye. This yeah. eye pops yeah. more. So I'm going to resharpen that so we're staying sanitary. Yeah. Like okay, open up. There's a reason why I call it the water line. Wow, Lana's got such beautiful eyes. It's like doing make one Jenny. Jenny has the biggest eyes. I can do anything to her. So there's Lana's inner rim. Oh my God, I'm obsessed. So good. So now, guess what we get to do? So we're going to take that big fluffy brush, the king of all brushes, the Scott Barnes brush. You look gorgeous. Now I'm gonna take one of my absolute all-time favorite products ever. It's this Scott Barnes 
um, pressed powder. It's a darker color. It's almost like a bronzer. And it's called Nonchalant. And I'm gonna use it like a bronzing powder. But you can use a bronzing powder for this. I just fell in love with this color. Mm. I fell in love with this color and I, I told Scott, I'm like, I, I don't, you need to make more of these because if you discontinue this, this is gonna be a problem. <laughs> so I take the Fat Boy brush and I go and I just go back over the, the highlight, or sorry, the, the contour. Yeah. Wherever I contoured and made it like, remember where I made it, yeah. like put the dark? I, to contour, I use a cream and I use powder. Mm. I want you look so pretty. Going over like where I did, I might even do a little on your tip of your nose too. Mm. Now guess what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna break my, I'm gonna break every rule in the book. Yeah. The brush that we use to put the primer on, the brush that we use to put the foundation on, the brush that we use to blend the contour and the highlight. I'm gonna go back in very, very, very carefully and I'm gonna go and just blend. I'm obsessed with this brush. Oh my God, you have to get his stuff. Whoa. Scott's stuff is so insane. Whoa, you just took the brush that you put the foundation yep. on? Yeah, and I'm going back in. So we baked and we have a little bit of powder but I'm just going back in and I'm just taking any residue, any residue, I'm just going back in and I'm just taking in using the last of that residue. You put more, if, if your eyeshadow falls, A, it's, I don't wanna say this, but it's shitty. Try a better eyeshadow. <laughs> That's my mom. If your eyeshadow falls, it's not good eyeshadow. Scott's stuff doesn't fall down because it's good. Mm. It's a little bit more expensive, but it doesn't, it doesn't, like it doesn't fall. Yeah. If your eyeshadow falls down, it's okay. Just wipe it away, put on some more concealer, put on some more foundation, you can always add. Mm. So this is another Scott Barnes pressed powder. This is called Camel. I'm going to take, I have a little concealer brush. I love this MAC concealer brush. It's like a little thick, kind of like stubby little brush, like a George Costanza type brush. <laughs> and you're gonna go in and I'm just gonna go in underneath your eyes and just refine. This gives you more. So Wait. this just gives you that little bit of extra coverage. You said you think Mac is it Mac Studio Fix? Are you talking? About? Um, with Mac Studio Fix is great too, but the Charlotte Tilbury, we were talking about the loose powder. Her loose powder is great. But or the, the pack powder. Have you tried the pack powder? Yeah, but the, the when She's we're baking, not... when we're baking, we want the loose powder when you're baking. But when you're going back over, when I go back over my whole look, I go back over with a little bit of the pressed powder. Mac has a great pressed powder, the Studio Fix, and this Scott Barnes powder I really love too. It's like, this is really beautiful stuff. That looks insane. Now we're going back in with the blush that Lana introduced me to. Jenny loves this blush too. So the blush that I'm obsessed with is from Lana. It's NARS. Oh, love this. Love this, it's a liquid blush. I know we've, Ooh, already, put, we've already put powder on. We've already done the full meal deal. I'm gonna break some rules and I'm gonna put the liquid blush over the powder that we just put, put on. So guess what I'm gonna put the liquid blush on with? The same brush that I put on Lana's foundation is what I'm gonna use the liquid blush with. And we go back in and it's just a bunch of blended colors that are insane. And then afterwards you get a lot of wolf with it. Look how beautiful your makeup looks. It's insane. You're so good. And then I even put a little on the tip of her nose. It's really pretty, it's very natural, so natural. Jenny, honestly, like you taught me so much about how to do makeup. And then if you wanna bump Lana's blush color up just a smidge, you like Take your Tom Ford, pick up, this Tom Ford's been mutilated, but this color is called Ravish. Ooh, Ooh like ravishing. Yes. <laughs> Take a nice chunky little brush, blush brush. Oh, that might be Dante. Um, I'm gonna do Lana's brows with this little like brow, it's like a little, little tiny eyeliner, but it's like a basically like brown eyeliner. And her brows are so good, but I'm just gonna go in and kind of just fill them in. Wait, so you can use a brown eyeliner or you can use a brow brush. What? I love Anasta Anastasia's brow brush. It's very natural. Lana's brows, like they're so pretty that you just need to fill them in a little bit just to give them a teeny bit of shape. Ooh, thank you. And you know what I actually have that I'm gonna add to her brows a little bit? I'm gonna add a little gel. I have a little bit of brow gel, but I love this MAC brow gel. It's MAC Bold Brunette. It's just the kind of, she's got very thick, beautiful brows, so we don't have to, but all you do is go like this. Was it just to find little shapes in the Yeah. So, I just use them online, but I'm gonna share with Lana. Come over here. There we go. 
Okay, my all-time, 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 all-time favorite lip liner ever is called MAC Strip Down. One word, MAC Strip Down. This little baby is my go-to. And one thing that I learned, I learned this from another really great makeup artist. Her name is Relinda. And she taught me this little trick. She said, basically, kind of go, you're like, to make your lips look kind of beasting, bee stung. Mm -hmm. What is it, mommy? Bee stung. Bee stung. You're gonna not have them so wide, like you're gonna go. Give them that nice, pretty uh, pout. And then kind of make them smaller up here. Smaller up here. So I'm reusing it on myself and you. We're both, Lana and I are both. One of the sirens out of the 1930s. We're both sharing a lip liner and we're fine with that. <laughs> See how I'm not doing so much on the outside, but I'm actually filling it in. I'm filling your lips in with this lip liner. And then I'm going up here. You have, Lana has insanely beautiful lips. Look at this. See, right here. And then just down. So, I'm sorry I just did that. I literally just put this on my lips and put this on Lana's lips. Well, that's how we roll. I kissed Lana. <laughs> oh, wait, no, I was trying to know what you I beat the shit out of her and put her, <laughs> put her bag in the ocean. And now I'm friends with her and I just kissed her on the lips. <laughs> You're pretty. I am obsessed with Kim Kardashian's lipsticks and her lip glosses. This color is so pretty. It's a nude. It's called Nude 1.5. <laughs> I'm going to dabble, dabble, dabble. You don't need a lot. You just need a little. If you want to get out of that speeding ticket, this is what you put on. Ronald, let me inner rim you a little bit more. <laughs> Sometimes the inner rim will come off a little bit, so let me just go back in. So I wasn't speeding, wasn't I? Now, Lana, I'm going to use my all-nighter chill makeup setting spray. I love it. It's by Urban Decay. And I'm going to go in. What I do is just so your face isn't surprised. I spray it all around. And that's it. And then this is the final step of your makeup look today. Highlight. Ooh. So I'm going to take a fan brush. This is what your fan brush is for. I sprayed the setting spray on so that that's I can nice. use. That's a beautiful look at these guys. The Scott Barnes. And this is his highlighter, it's brand new, and I love the pinkaboo. Love the pinkaboo, but you can actually just mix them all. So Lana, look what I did with the fan brush. Fan brush, you, you mix them all. Ooh. I go like this. It's very subtle. Again, I do it on your it's nose. Very touchy, right? It's just a wisp, isn't it? Look, this. I'm like, why are you not doing it like that? Why are you doing it? Uh, you can do it whatever way you want, as long as you just kind of Instead of like an arch thing. You can, you can do it like this. You can do it like this as long as it gets the angle. Mm. I, I just do it my own way. Well, and I do a little up here. You, look, Mom, I do a little. Right? Look what I'm doing. I'm doing a little right here above your lip. And then I'm doing a little on your bridge of your nose. Because you're following the bone See, structure a bit, right? A little on the bridge of your nose. And then I do a little down here. And that's it. And then. Wow. That is incredible. One last time with your big fat brush. There. That's beautiful. And then okay. I put gel on my hair and I'm snatched. Gorgeous. Mmm. Gorgeous. That's the look. Wow. Natty. I love that. Seriously. It looks amazing. Mwah. Oh my God. I love it. You look so pretty. Whoa. And you look pretty from every angle and it's natural. So it's like a ton of makeup on without looking like you're wearing a ton of makeup. This is so, you're so good. I'm like, wow. It's so pretty. It just looks so like airbrush flawless. Well, that's why I just kept on buffing and buffing and buffing and buffing. Like this is no filter. No. <laughs> so here is how my makeup is looking. I'm obsessed. It just looks so flawless. I can't wait to put some gel. Natty, thank you. You're welcome. Yeah. We want you to like, yes. share, subscribe, and comment. Comment. And yes, like please. So go and like, comment, subscribe, tell in the comments what you want to see more of. You can also subscribe to Natty's YouTube channel. Yes, which is the Nine Heart to my sister Jenny. Jenny, come, come over here. Ellie. Ellie. 
Come over here. We're all here. Happy family. And since we're all here, let's do it out and take a selfie. Yes. Yeah, so love you guys. Yay! Love you guys. We'll be back.